What's good, y'all? So I'm going to read y'all a little um, study notes I got from the Word today, from Job 3. Um, pretty sure this will help y'all, man. But yeah, I just want to start, you know, just making videos again and preaching the gospel, you know. So we're going to read y'all what I learned today from Job 3. After this day, I read y'all the fourth chapter. After this, after this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. And spoke and, and Joe spoke and said, May the day Paris on which I was I was born. Now what I learned from here is that Job was going through so much at the time that he cursed his own day of he cursed his own birthday basically. And what this taught me was that this taught me to always wake up and be thankful. We should always wake up and be thankful and thank God for our day. Praise him and ask him to check our hearts because God doesn't have to give us this day. That's what this taught me. Um, I'm gonna keep reading. And the night in which was it was said, and now child is conceived, may that day be darkness. May God above not seek it, nor the light shine upon it. So here, Job truly had darkness. He truly had just, he had, um, what's that word? When we tend to go through stuff, we can tend to um, bring self-inflicted curses on us. And that's what I'm seeing Job is doing a lot here. And um, God doesn't want us to do that. God wants us to bless our life. He wants us to bring blessings upon our life. Because when we bring self-inflicted curses on us, it just brings more warfare, more baggage that we have to carry. And so just looking at what Job is doing, Job is saying his heart just seems bitter, upset. And it seems like Job didn't just have peace. And that's not from God. That's, that's, that's not... It's not from God. You know, God wants us to have peace. We'll keep reading. Um, as for that night, may darkness seize it. May it not rejoice among the days of the year. May it not come into the number of the months. Oh, may that night be barren. May no joyful shout come into it. May those curse it who curse today. Those who are ready to arouse with what provide them. May, may the stars of its morning be dark. May it look for light, but have none, and see the dawning of the day, because they did not shut the doors of my mother's womb. I sorrow from my eyes. <laughs> Why did I not die at birth? So just reading that right there, Job, he didn't want no joy, peace. He did. He wanted to die at birth. He was going through so much. There are situations in life, y'all, where I've been, where I've been having that, um, been ha having thoughts like that, and we have to continue to praise God. I have to continue to ask him, why am I like this? Because believe it or not, it's not, it's, it's, it's something that you're doing still that is keeping you in that place. Something that you're doing so that's keeping the, that, that same sin, that, that same posture there. And you have to ask God, what is it? Because there's times in my life, my walk, where I felt like that, you know? And so we have to ask God to remove those things. Is it, a, is it an idol? Is it people? You know, you don't have to um, always, you know, be comfortable. We need to learn how to be uncomfortable, especially in this society. We need to learn how to be uncomfortable, learn how to live out of our comfort zone. And so we we'll keep reading. <laughs> why did I not perish when I came from the womb? Why did the knees receive? Or why did the breasts that I should nurse? For now I would have lain still and been quiet. I would have been asleep. Then I would have been at rest with the kings and counselors of the earth who built ruins for themselves or with princes who had gold who filled their houses with, with silver. Or why was I not hidden like a stillborn child, like infants who never saw light? There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary are at rest. There the prisoners rest together. They do not hear the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Why is light given to him who is in misery? And life to the bitter of soul, who long for death, but it is not come, and search for it more than hidden treasures, who rejoice and see thee, and, and are glad when when they can find the grave. Why is light given? Why is light given to a man whose whose way is hidden, and from God has hedged in? For my sign comes before I eat, and my groanings pour out like water. For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. I'm not ease nor am I quiet. I have no rest for trouble comes. So, Job, 
wasn't at rest in the storm. And what I learned from this chapter overall from my notes is that this taught me to always wake up and be thankful for the day because God doesn't have to give us this day. Every day, instead, instead of looking at our fail, fails of life, we should thank God for the blessings of life. Here, Job had a bitter and unforgiving heart. Job had no rest and peace. They teach me that rest and peace are at the Father. So, if you want to get through the situations in life, we need to just have rest and peace. And what are ways that we can grow in the Lord? When you're about to go somewhere, you can get a quick Bible study in. Get a quick Bible study. When you're I'm about to go to bed. Get a quick, get, get the get the word in. Get a quick prayer in. Pray in spirit. Pray in tongues. It's those things, man. Those are things that we can do to just keep growing in the Lord. Keep growing in the Father in these days. Because when you have discernment, not everything's from God. Not everything's the Holy Spirit. A lot of these things today are familiar and modern spirits. But this chapter, Job 3, Job is has a bitter, unforgiving. Um, he has a, he's just, He's just over overwhelmed. He he's going through a lot right now, and when he's going through, when you go through a lot, you can tend to be going through a lot in here, and it starts right here. And so I just encourage y'all, man, to just read y'all's Bible, man. Uh, stay prayed up, fast, um, be alert, and just ask God, like, what is hindering me in my walk? Because there are there may be some idols. Um, that the Lord wants to remove and you have to be willing to let go of those idols. Maybe a person, maybe a thing. And if a person is an idol, that that has to be removed. Because if you tend to entertain that person, it's just gonna get even worse. Most likely it's an ungodly soul tie. So I don't know who this is for, man, but don't be like Job in Job 3. Praise God. Have peace through the storm. Continue to go to the Father. Work, continue to work on yourself. Continue to fast. Continue to pray. Focus on what Jesus called you to focus on. Focus on your goals. Focus on what Jesus wants you to focus on, man. Keep going, bro. Y'all by God, best thing, man. Your boy out. Peace. What's good, y'all? This shirt I have on now is ran by a special clothing brand called Underdog Clothing Brand. This clothing brand is for athletes and people who love to be in fit. And not, not only that, it's a Christian clothing brand as well, man. So make sure you shop here, get your merch here, Power by Jesus, a really cool shirt, man. And also, if you use my code at the bottom, our promo code at the bottom, Jesus Saves, you get 15% off on each purchase you buy from the store lifetime. So make sure y'all shop here, man. Really cool clothing brand, man. Jesus Christ is raising up mighty Christian clothing brands in this time, man. He wants to get his word across, man. Y'all have a God best day, man. Peace. What's good, y'all? Y'all see this shirt here, Seek Jesus. Seek Jesus is a really awesome, cool clothing, Christian clothing apparel, man. Ran in this world today, man. If y'all didn't know that Seek Jesus existed, it exists, man. Seek Jesus is a cool clothing brand ran by Christian owners and Christian businesses, bro. And it's, it's a really cool brand where you can get really cool shirts, Really cool things. Um, it's awesome, bro. And so y'all go shop here at Seek Jesus, man, because Jesus wants to get his word across, man. Not just in like preaching, but he also wants to get his word across in businesses too. Because you may be in the gym or you may be out one day and somebody may see the word Jesus and they may be like, hmm, what's that mean? And so y'all go shop here, man. If y'all use the promo code Holy Trey. Is at the bottom here. I'm putting at the bottom. You get 15% off of each purchase, man. So y'all shop here, man. Jesus Christ loves y'all, bro. Y'all have a God best day, man. Peace.